हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज ऋत्विक गायकवाड़ अलॉन्ग विथ ग्रुप एफ सिक्स एंड वी आर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ विश्वकर्मा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे हेर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड एक्सप्लेन द टॉपिक सिंगल बस आर्किटेक्चर एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अवर कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर सिलेबस स्टार्टिंग विद द टॉपिक सिंगल बस आर्किटेक्चर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन वन कॉमन बस एंड इट इज यूज टू कम्युनिकेट बिटवीन पेरीफेरल्स एंड माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स नाउ द प्रोग्राम काउंटर program counter is a register that manages the memory address of the instruction to be executed next the address specified by the pc will be plus by one each time once the instruction is being executed however in the case of an interrupt instruction jumps and the destination address get stored in the pc now instruction register it is the part of cpu control unit that holds the instruction currently being executed or decoded some of the complicated processors use a pipeline of instruction registers where each stage of pipeline does a part of decoding preparation or execution and then passes it to the next stage for the steps hello everyone i'm shami gaikwad i'm going to explain about mar and mdr mar is the memory address register this register is used for holding the memory address from which data will be fetched from the cpu or the address to which data will be sent and stored in the memory mdr is the memory data register it is used for holding the data that is in the process of being transferred from the memory to the cpu now further alu and mux will be explained by shrishti hello what's good everybody i'm shrishti gaikwad and i'll be elucidating you about what alu and mux is So as we all know that ALU stands for arithmetic and logical unit and is a part of a CPU that carries out arithmetic and logical operations on the operands in computer instruction words and the arithmetic operation we means simply subtraction addition multiplication and division and same goes with the logical operations which is simply comparison of values now let's talk about what MUX is it stands for multiplex it is also known as a data selector it is a device that selects between several analog or digital input signal and forward the selected input to a single output line the selection is directed by a separate set of digital inputs known as a select line now over to priyank she'll be explaining you about temporary registers a temporary register is the only register that can be read and written more than once in a single instruction each temporary register has single write and triple read access therefore an instruction can have as many as 3 temporary registers in its set of input source opens so now we will see the execution of complete instruction for example the instruction is addition of r1 and r3 the r1 contains integer 10 and r3 contains the integer 20 the first step of the instruction is fetching the instruction we will fetch the instruction from the memory and then store this instruction in the instruction register by storing the instruction we will perform the addition operation between the two operands that that is r3 and r1 then the addition operation is performed and the result will be loaded into r1 so how to write the control sequence we take the address from the program counter and then store it in memory address reader then the data is passed through the memory bus and read in address data line this address is then passed through a memory data reader and then stored in temporary register as y here the prog- program counter is constant 4 and multiplexer gives the output to alu simultaneously program counter provides the data to alu and arithmetic logical operation is performed and stored in pc again now the wmfc that is wait for memory function complete it generates a signal which is received by mdr which transfers it to ir after fetching the first operand from the memory it is again sent to mar which reads the data and executes the further process while data is being fetched from the memory at the address stored in a mar data from r1 is taken out and put into the y register now the execution waits for the wmfc signal once the signal is received the data fetched from the memory which is now stored in the mdr register is taken out and put into point b of the alu the data from the register is also taken out and put into point a of the alu now addition operation happens in the alu and the result is stored in the set register 
Finally, the data is taken out from the Z register and stored into the R1 register. Therefore, the execution of the instruction is now complete.